a lot of artists who are at the beginning of their journey feel this dissatisfaction about the limitations they experience in their studio setup that oh i have this really tiny table i don't have this full fledged studio where i can spread out have my easel set up or whatever their dream studio is and um yeah. what is really interesting is that you started your journey at a point where you were traveling so your studio was wherever you were at and you wouldn't have this like dream studio where you could return to every day like it did change every few weeks how your studio looked like changed so can you share how you navigated the challenges of not having a permanent studio so to say and creating in spaces which are not akin to an artist studio yes this is really important i think because that can become such an obstacle to people's art practice like thinking i can only do it if i have this this and this for about a year or something i was creating without even a desk or a table <laughs> i didn't even have that especially during like the beginning of the pandemic i was living in a tiny room that only had a bed it had no other furniture in it it didn't even have floor space really and so i was creating just sitting on my bed like cross legged on my bed that was my creation space occasionally when when lockdown kind of eased up i would be able to go walk by the lake and maybe sit on a bench and create looking at the mountains or something but that was really like in my lap sometimes i could go to a cafe and maybe there would be a table there but it really was a portable like wherever i could create that would be how it happened and i actually had the experience of when i went back to the us eventually and i had a really nice creation space that was a time that i kind of was less inspired to create and i didn't create as much so it's really important to realize you can create wherever you are and be flexible about it because it's really in your mind that it's not possible to create in other places and i mean if your medium is clay or something like that's different you probably do need a more specific type of place to do that but there's so many different ways to create so i always loved just having like drawing pad and i had like a little um I still have it actually. I have like a little box that's like tin metal box. I think it's for children's math tools <laughs> and it has like just space enough for like a compass, a little um uh protractor. Wait. Yeah, yeah, the geometry box that's available. I don't know if it's available in the US. I I recognize it because yeah. it's widely available in India. <laughs> so that's how I know. Yeah, exactly. I got it from Nepal. It has a picture of Nepal on it. and it has yeah the little geometry set and i could also put in like a couple of nicer art pens i was able to find a couple of nicer pencils that wouldn't smudge um yeah i wasn't really able to get that many nice like nice supplies but i did find the bare bones of what would work and I think it was a really fun aspect of the creativity to try to find places. I'm remembering sitting like in a field like when I needed to do like making the circles, like very specific line work and things. It would be like find the flattest place in the field to do to like lay it down and do that. And that was a part of the creativity that was a part of the process. And if there would be a mistake in it, it would be like, "Oh, that's because I was in a field." that was nice like it's part of it then so yeah i would say really don't let the the space itself become an obstacle because that could prevent you from creating something really amazing that would really connect with people so um yeah it was great it was a great practice to be traveling uh when i finally When I finally moved to the village like full time with my partner, he actually had a desk here and I went to like a fancy supermarket a few hours away and found a desk lamp and it was so exciting. Like wow, a desk lamp. 
And so I could create something like on a desk with a desk lamp. That was super exciting. And then I felt extra grateful for even having that. So the less you have, the more you're grateful for, I think. And when I ended up having access to a really lovely desk in a space with a, um, what's it called? Like a mount for my phone that I could film. There was all these like wonderful tools I had there. I could have my art supplies out all the time, but I noticed that didn't inspire me any more or less to create. It was the internal inspiration that drove it. So I think that's important to remember. It's wonderful to have a space like that, but it's also wonderful not to because it adds to the creativity. Yeah. It does. Limitations makes us more creative. 